What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so, the birthday marathon continues right here guys. Yes sir, it does. And well, we are in Balunlia, 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 I can't even pronounce that. And yeah, as you can see, it is home to a bunch of psychic and uh, fairy type Pokemon right here. So, let's see, in this episode, we're going to be exploring a little bit of this place, and, uh, yeah, battling for our next badge, and yes, he has a, I'm a Pokemon, battle me. Wait, listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they, they're still, uh, both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it in a, think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. That really doesn't make sense. What? You don't have to worry about me, even if I if it's pretty lofty logic. I, I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Uh well I'm not gonna I'm just gonna be positive with him. You can be one. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style uh, would change uh, could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Hmm. Okay, so I think we need to put on some different clothes here. Every time I meet uh, Granny O'Paul, she tells me I would wear more pink and old bat. Okay, the old bat. Wow, why would you call her the old bat? That's kind of messed up in a way. Okay, so first is first. I'm going to try and uh, check for some uh, some items right here because it's always cool to have some some items. Some cool free items and all that stuff and obviously they're not giving us anything right here but we found something right here and two big mushrooms that can be used for monies lots and lots of monies and well yes it, she has a TM for us and that is TM 77 hex which will actually be used for something uh, the relentless attack that makes massive damage to a targets affected status conditions Having your Pokemon learn different moves in different types will be a real help of you. Okay. Um, I think we do have a Pokemon that can learn that. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, teach it while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, crud baskets. Oh, crud. So I think she's going to give us a... Yeah, I think she's gonna give us a, an item that will actually help us with, uh, you know, the evolution of Pokemon. So, here we are taking on Dotler. Dotler. That's a pretty fun name. And, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, use a super effective attack, which is Bite. And thanks to its effect right here, Bite is gonna be a little stronger than usual. And here comes a Reflect attack. And this right here is actually going to... Well, yeah, it's going to defend it for quite some time, but here we go, Rock Tomb, and this right here nearly beats this guy, and, well, that will lower its speed just a little bit, so here comes a Bug Buzz, and Michelangelo has been affected pretty uh, pretty good, so here we go, Body, or Bite Attack, and, oh, God, there we go, look at that, okay. So, Shell Bell has it healed it, and well, we have defeated Bre uh, Breeder Elena, Alina or Elena, and well, let's see, what is exactly she's going to give me? She hasn't evolved, but the secret is the Evil Light, which can power up any kind of Pokemon's uh, moves if it's not evolved. Okay, so here, Mysterious Evolutionary Lump, when held by a Pokemon that's still, uh, that can still evolve, it raises both defense and its special defense. So. I definitely have a Pokemon in mind for that one right there. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? We can go right here into this area, and you can actually find a TM, which is TM31 Rest. And that will actually heal up some Pokemon. And here we have this, a Ball Mushroom. I think you can actually, I think you can actually sell it for some... Uh, extra monies right there and well let's go straight to the stadium and go face our destiny now before we do anything let's go right ahead and uh, well hello there Marnie oh challenger Draven hmm you got four badges already I'm gonna have to watch out for you huh Ooh, rah, rah. look even more Pico is wary of you wait more Pico don't tell me that you actually like Draven 
<sighs> We've already had serious battle with him. He's opposing Gym Challenger. Guess there's nothing to do it. Look, just take uh, just take one of my League cards, okay? She doesn't even want to battle me right now. But there it is. We get Marnie's League card. That's always nice. And what's uh, what's with that look, huh? That just means I'll just I'll think of you as my rival for now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challengers left, you know, so we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Whatever you say, baby. I, I just love the, the leather jacket. It's very rebel. <laughs> Anywho, let's talk to this guy and see what kind of Pokeball he gives us. So this guy will give us a love ball, which, let's see. The love ball is a Pokeball that works best with catching a Pokemon uh, that is the opposite gender of your Pokemon. Okay, so that will actually work out. Okay, so that I, I actually see what that means. Okay, so here we are in a fairy type gym. We need to restore a Pokemon, obviously. And um, let's see, let's give Super Potion right here. And while that, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and go with Type. And I think you can actually buy some healing items right here too. So let's go ahead and stock up on something. So let's see, what can we buy? Uh, the usual. Yeah, we can actually buy the usual stuff. I think after defeating this gym leader, you can actually buy some more items, including an Ultra Ball. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Yes, let's go ahead and get dressed. I do love the fact that, you know, you can dress up while playing in this Pokemon battle right here. And, well, that uniform looks good on you. Now relax and clear your mind and break a leg. Don't literally break a leg. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, Yes, going into the gym itself. Daddy's here! Now, this place is a theater. And Opal really loves her theater works right here. And her babushka. Ah, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you are really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role as gym leader here. So, my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry. It's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you uh, get if you get a wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if the if you answer correctly, your Pokemon uh, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now, I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Okay. All right. All right. So here we go, guys. Gonna take on Opal and her trainers, so here we go. And since this is a fairy type gym, we're gonna go straight for our good old poison type Pokemon. And yeah, steel type Pokemon can actually work right here too. So let's see. Oh wow, we are literally in a theater. This is wow, this is an, an audition. Holy crud, okay. Let's go right ahead and start taking on some challengers. We're we're taking on Annette. And here she comes out with a spritzy, pure, fire, uh, pure fairy type Pokemon right here. Okay, let's go right ahead and start attacking. And yeah, I think they will always survive. Nope, there we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that was uh, pretty easy right there. And Vex grows to level 39, Blitzkrieg to level 38. And she's going to be coming out with a slurp up. So let's just continue on right here. And I think it's right here where you're going to get asked the question. Okay, so the question is, do you know about the fairy type weakness? Yes, I do. And poison type is one of them. Steel type is the other one, too. And we're going to get a boost. So here we go. Poison, poison jab ready to go. And just like that, slurp up has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Dreepzilla grows to level 37. How might you ask, did the Dreepzilla get to level 37? Well, I kind of fed it a few rare candies, okay? Not rare candies, but, you know, experienced candies and all that crud. Okay, so that's one. And, well, let's see. Here comes the next one. I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Even though you probably need to worry about that. So here we are taking on Teresa. And she's going to be coming out with her Squirrelix right here. So let's go Blitzkrieg Bop. Blitzkrieg Bop. Alright, so here we go. Uh, poison Jab for the win. And 
and Swirlix defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so that is that right there, and Shadow Blade grows to level 40. Okay. You better thank the, the red candies for that. So here comes Aromatize. Aromatize, or I don't even know how to pronounce that, but we're just gonna go straight for Aromatize. And here's the question. What was the previous trainer's name? Holy crap, Baskets. Uh, Anit. Yes, we got it right. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. This is like the equivalent of a... Uh, do you remember that girl that you slept with? Uh, the, her name? Yeah, don't. Definitely don't. Definitely don't. So, yeah. Here we go. Poison Jab. And Aromatize has been uh, defeated. Or is it Aromatize? Comment down below, guys. I know. If I'm butchering names, you guys are probably going to get cringy and all that crud. And, well, there's another one right there. And, well, let's see. Don't worry about the last one. Just keep moving forward. And, yeah, you probably need to pay attention to everything right there, guys. I was just being lucky right now. Okay, so what is next? Right here. Uh, okay, what it takes to defeat the gym leader. Or what to become a gym leader. I kind of don't want to be a gym leader, even though my name is Gym Leader Draven, which is funny. So here comes Morgrim. And, yeah, Morgrim is a Dark-type Pokemon as well, so you can actually do some stuff right here. But here comes the Poison Jab. And Poison Jab is doing its trick right here. Look at that. Say, good say goodbye to Morgrim and more experience points for nothing. Here comes Gardevoir, and, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. We do have a move that can actually defeat this Pokemon. And plus, it is a it is a poison type Pokemon, so you don't want to mess with this Pokemon right here if it's a psychic type. So here's Gardevoir, and well, question: What do what do I eat for breakfast every morning? Holy crud! Um, omelets. Yes. Okay. In the last one, I thought it was curry. So we've answered everything correctly. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a Steel Wing attack. And this charm attack right here is going to definitely uh, lower our attack harshly. So here comes a Steel Wing, and that takes care of Gardevoir. Yes, yes, we have defeated you single-handedly. Alrighty, and well, there's more experience points, and Theodora has been defeated. <laughs> okay, I cannot believe I answered everything correctly. Including the almonds part. I thought it was curry. I literally was going to pick curry. Okay, so we have defeated everybody right there. So now it is finally time for us to get the going right here. Going for the next gym battle. And let's see. Yeah, we haven't been touched. So let's go right ahead and just battle everybody right now. So let's go. And congratulations. You have, def uh, you have successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader, gym, uh, gym leader Draven? Yes, I would. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on our gym leader challenge. And let's go straight into the uh, pitch, as everybody would like to call it right here. Look at this. That's right. Stone Cold Steve Austin music coming on, even though we can't put it on right here because we'll get flagged. And Opal and her babushka is waiting for us right here. And... So, what is up? I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner uh, Pokemon behave. So is it about us behaving, or I do not know. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number five, I believe. And we're going to be taking on Opal. Look at her. Paul looking all nice and everything and she's gonna throw out a big old wheezing right here now wheezing is both a I want to say it's both a fairy and fairy and poison type Pokemon so it's a good mixture and let's see yeah we're not gonna be using a poison jab right here because it's still a poison type so let's go straight for shadow blade and I have pickups again holy crud okay so here we go shadow blade and, well, let's see. A nerve is right there. And here comes a sludge attack, but unfortunately, it does not affect this guy. And here's the question Do you know my nickname? Uh, oh crap. Uh, the magic user? Oh, wow. Wait, really? The wizard? 
Ah, crap baskets. So, our speed has harshly fallen. Uh, stealing attack. I really don't mind right here. So, here comes a fairy wind attack. Not effective. Shadow Blade, you are... Oh, yes, you are... Uh, you are a sight to behold right here. Okay, so here we go. Steel Wing attack yet again. Here comes a Fairy Wind. And uh, that right there is not going to be so effective. So here we go. Steel Wing again. And just like that, Weezing has been defeated. Okay, so more experience points for all our Pokemon right there. And Michelangelo is at level 37. She's about to send out a Mawile. Yes, let's go with Bex right here because it is a Steel type Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, that is a very, very good coverage for, you know, all these uh, poison type attacks it might get. So here comes a Mawile and another question. And, well, let's see. Let's see what we got. It's Intimidate. Oh, so you think your attack is going to mess me up? No, it's not. So here we go. Pyro Ball for the win. And here we go. Clickety-clack. Here we go. Golasso. And Mawile has been defeated. For Mawile. Okay, so there we go. And, well, she's about to use Togekiss. This Pokemon right here, we definitely have a Pokemon for. So here comes Blitzkrieg. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see if Blitzkrieg doesn't really do much. and Well, can do a lot. And the funny thing is that I'm actually looking at the Pokemon walkthrough where I'm actually battling Togekiss right now. Same Pokemon. What's my favorite color? It's pink. Yeah, okay, wait, 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 that's just you. Uh, God dang it, it's purple? Okay, you suck. Okay, so let's go with a discharge attack just the same way I did in uh, this game right here. And crap baskets, here comes ancient power. And here comes the discharge attack. And just like that, it almost defeats Togekiss. And crap, okay, so in the other version, my Blitzkrieg, oh wow, it survives. And there we go. <laughs> so there goes Togekiss. Defeat it with another Blitzkrieg. And everybody grows levels. Shadow Blade goes level 41 right here. And Bex finally goes into it. And well, here we have Al Creamy. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Shadow Blade right here. Yes, we're going to be doing uh, the same thing right here, except. You know, I'm looking at this right now. Blitzkrieg, the other version's Blitzkrieg gets the Gigantamax right here while we're taking on Al Creamy. And, well, and Morning Teague has finally kicked in, and I'm not a moment too soon. Really? Okay, so Al Creamy. Look at this Pokemon. It looks like a. It, it, it definitely looks like a pe like cake. So we're going to Dynamax, and we're going to go with Max Steel Spike right here. Alrighty. Doing the same thing like we did in the other version. And, uh, well, here we go. We're going to let this guy grow and grow and grow. Oh, my God. It is a, a big old chicken right there. Steel chicken. Look at that. Look how majestic this Pokemon looks. And, well, she is going to... Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh, wow. That, that right there is scary. So, here she is. Picking up Al Creamy and oh man. She has a hard time just throwing that thing, but here comes a big old piece of cake. Look at that. That is a cake I would like to eat, but I am not. And well, let's go right ahead and use this max steel uh, steel spike or something. Alright, here we go. Steel spike. Steel chicken. Steal the steel. And that nearly defeats Al Creamy. And I'm only assuming it's gonna use Max Star Strike right here. And here give us a give you some. Okay, all right. She's got that serious look and G Max finale. Holy bejeebus! Not effective because yes, steel chicken is a steel chicken. Yes, steal the steel or steel panther. You know, if you guys know the band Steel Panther, there is an album called Steel Panther. Feel the steel. That's what this Pokemon's doing it right now. And now Creamy has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, and right there. <laughs> right there. Uh, look at that. While watching my other Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, we're doing the same thing. Defeating uh, you know, uh, Opal right here. And, well, we have defeated Opal. And she's a little freaked out, but she's like, 
Your peak is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Okay. All right. So we get the approval from the old lady herself. And yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going to get something. Well, good try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about or about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about your uh, too, bad, too bad about the audition. But there is a fairy badge if for your efforts. And well, we're gonna be we're gonna be shaking hands right here. We're gonna be getting a steel badge, or not a steel badge, but a fairy badge. Look at that. Five badges in all, guys. Wow, we've made it so quickly right here. Look at this. Okay. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 45 and take this TM with you. We get ourselves the TM87 Draining Kiss. A very good move. The user steals the target's HP with a kiss. The user's HP is restored by ha over half of the damage taken by the target. Lastly, there's a little something uh, for, for you humor me. This might help uh, add a little more pink to you. And we get ourselves a fairy uniform from the master herself. Of course, it's not uh, good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so we are here. We got the TM and everything, and our next gym battle is in Sir Churcher. I don't even know how to pronounce that, so we're going to be getting out right here. And while we're getting out, we are going to be stopped, and she's like, hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me on the journey? Yes, I will. If you're headed to the next day at Pokemon Stadium, you'll need to go to Hammerlock after all. With pleasure. Okay. That's two company after all. So, after all that, guys, we're going to be returning back to Hammerlock. And the next gym, we'll have to go through Route 8. So, as you can see right here, guys, bam. Hammerlock is always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Okay, all right. So we've made it to Hammerlock, guys, and uh, well, I think the next thing will have to be uh, going into Hammerlock itself. So, unlike in my other previous or my previous version, I'm actually gonna go check what happens right here. Um, I do feel as though that if we, I, I kind of want to prevent us from screwing uh, screwing up. So we're gonna go to the very entrance of Hammerlock to see what. You know what awaits us right there because there might be something there's always something waiting for us and there is bead so we're gonna take care of this situation right now while we're at it guys okay so bead is waiting in the very front and he's like come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban take it away from my gym challenger status revoked can you really afford to waste time like this of course well I suppose so you no longer have to worry about catching up uh, with me after all Huh, cock a little prick, huh? I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out my uh, help out the, help out the chairman, and I will go ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. <laughs> and next thing you know, Paul's like, hmm, that boy. Oh wow, he likes to do that all the time. It's kind of like emos. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Time for my gym mission, child. <laughs> what? What? Oh wow, the speed on her. Pink, pink, and pink. Congratulations, child. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, Miss. Miss Paul, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used to Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to, uh, to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish. Once uh, she was done with you, hmm. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you, are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan to make sure that you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Farewell now, child. You should head to Sir Trister. I, I, I take it, or I take you know how to get to Route 7. 
I actually do. And, well, seriously, you have to do that all the time. Flipping you off, man. I am flipping you off. Anywho, that is that right here, guys. I actually prevented a mistake from happening because I am going to be making uh, a nice training uh, <laughs> event right here, guys. So, off screen, I am actually going to be changing up a lot of things. I'm actually going to be capturing Pokemon needed and uh, doing the Pokemon jobs and all that stuff, too. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this marathon right here. Happy birthday to me, the big three, too. Thank you guys for all the support, and thank you guys for, you know, all your guys' patience throughout the years and all that stuff. And uh, trust me, I am going to continue doing this until the brakes fall off. Um, that's another thing, too, guys. What is another thing, too? I hope we continue on with all these adventures right here, guys. Uh, 10K subscribers and counting, and I hope to hopefully get to 100K sooner rather than later before everything ends right here um i'm not saying i'm quitting or anything like that it's just that you know it would be nice to get 100k at some point in time um so off screen i will be challenging and i will be training my pokemon into the wild area uh if you guys have any pokemon that you would want to suggest for my team the it, the comment section right there below just go ahead and uh, name the pokemon tell me what Tell me the benefits of having those Pokemon, because as you can see right here, guys, my Pokemon team has gone on pretty nicely, and here we have some different Pokemon variations and whatnot. Uh, eventually, I'm going to fill up some boxes, I'm going to be training some Pokemon, and I'm going to be, you know, evolving some Pokemon. That way, you know, we have a nice variety of Pokemon here onto my team. Not only that, but I'm actually going to be capturing some Pokemon off screen from different routes that we've already visited. That way, we can actually, you know, have a nice uh, variety as well. Uh, not only that, but we're going to go back to the wild area and we're going to be, you know, challenging some more uh, Gigantamax Pokemon. That way, we can stock up on some more experienced candy because I've learned that we can, if we have enough of these, we're going to, you know, it, it would actually work out in the long run right here too, especially with the whole uh, Pokemon job. So, if you guys have a different Pokemon that you want me to use, comment down below. If it's a native Pokemon, go right ahead and I'll actually think about it right here. So, again, thank you guys again for being all supported and all that stuff. Hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. And if you guys want to make a small donation, you know, for my birthday and all that stuff, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys next time. See you guys.